Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus. Um, this is the second of my holiday specials. Um, this is the Valdor Tank Hunter, which is a Forge World model for the Imperial Guard or the Astrum Militarum, or whatever they call themselves these days. Anyway, so um, you'll see a bit of masking tape on the, the front. It's because I painted a sort of laser effect on the, the barrel um, and I, I come back and change it you know, later on because it just looks like a clown car. But uh, I did some pre shading and then. Um, what I did was I used the wrong type of uh, paint. Um, I used a desert primer and I should have just used uh, sand because all my good work with the pre-shading um, is overpowered by the, the primer. Uh, if I just left it like that I would have got away with it but um, you know the old adage less is more. Uh, I obviously was pain I wasn't paying attention. Um, so I painted it uh, in the standard sand colours and then I wanted to make it um, something completely different, something I've never tried before, which is like sort of scrub or um, I don't know what you would call that, like um, not quite desert, but um, savanna maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, but I've seen camouflage like this on sort of various Forge World books and Imperial Armor books, and I thought, do you know what? We'll give it a bash. Um, so covered it in um, gloss varnish and then added uh, some decals but uh, I'm, I'm running very low on decals because I only ever had two bane blade sheets and I think I've squeezed just about as much as I can get out of them now. Um, again th this one is actually a, a really tricky model and th that shield at the back that I'm doing the oil wash on right now it was very difficult to get to, to sit in the right place and it took a lot of bending backwards and forwards in hot water to uh, to make it sit properly. Um, these generators off the side, I just painted them sort of like power purple, I, I don't know, plasma or whatever. I uh, just painted them that way. Um, the coils on the main barrel, I painted them um, blue. And the bit that's covered in masking tape at the moment is green, which you'll see in just a second. But uh, in the end, I decided to, to sort of tone it down. I used the track wash uh, again on the tracks, thought it was pretty pretty good. And then I used um, sand dust or light dust. Um, I think that's a, an AK one, that one, um, just to, to give it a, a sandy appearance. There, well, there you go, there's the, the laser and maybe in a different camouflage it would have looked better but all those colours together were just you know, too much. Why would you bother um, camouflaging a tank that just stood out like a sore thumb? So there you go, there's my pride on the shelf as I paint over that bit of green. Um, I paint it back to the desert camouflage uh, scheme and um, finish it off. Added a crewman uh, with this a big stubber, which I always think looks like a brain gun. And then um, this is me putting it on the turntable. Used uh, some some of the sand colour to basically do some sort of chips and dings. Maybe and maybe you can't see very many of them here. Um, you can only really see them against this sort of brown. I used sort of the oil wash to flick sort of dirt and stuff uh, on on there. Um, I, overall, as an experiment, I think it, it worked quite well. Uh, would I field it in a game? Well, as you probably know by now, I don't play a game um, anymore. Um, I just build models, so I'm at the stage where I'm just trying to do different things and trying to... Um, you know, learn as I go and share that with you. So, um, if you've got any comments, um, you know, I would genuinely love to hear them because you know we're all in this together. So, please share what you what you think, good or bad. Uh, cheers, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.